And why don't we go hiking? Norm D. Watt is going to help us. Brand new book, Off the Beaten Path, A Hiking Guide to Vancouver's North Shore. There it is, hot off the presses, second edition. So much to cover. You've got 39 trails in the brand new one, yeah? There are uh, eight new ones added to the original 31, and most of the uh, 31 have been updated with different kinds of information, changes in signage, maybe some new photos. And uh, so it's just hit the stores this month. It's a great resource for elevation. Uh, we're talking about hike time. Is it pet friendly? All of these factors. So you've chosen four for us to go through. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to start with Mystery Lake. Take us through this one. Okay. Uh, Mystery Lake is up on Mount Seymour. It's, it's only about half an hour from the, uh, the Seymour parking lot. So it's an easy one to get to. And it's a lovely, peaceful little spot. There's a couple of people that are sunning themselves on the rock in the middle of the lake there. So it's good for swimming too. Probably cold, but good for swimming and it's, it's just a lovely spot. What do you look for when you're choosing the, the trails that uh, you're going to take on? Um, uh, the ones that I want to put in the book? Yeah. Uh, a variety and I try and get some in that are suitable for beginners an hour and a half or two hours and then some others that, that the mountain peak ones are five and a half to six and a half hours and so I try and fit something in there for uh, for everybody's abilities. Going to put it in for a good day trip. Okay, let's uh, jump over to St. Mary's Trail. Tell us about this. Okay, St. Mary's Trail, it, it's up near the top of Lonsdale, and it is kind of an off the beaten path type of trail. It's not that well known. Uh, that creek is called Hastings Creek, and it's in full flood. It's probably like that now with all the snow melt. It's a lovely little trail, and you can make a loop of that hike, taking the Baden Powell on the way back in about an hour and a half to two hours at the most. Okay. And so it's a nice kind of intermediate hike for uh, people of just about any ability. Yeah. A lot of people are going to be heading outdoors. Uh, Bowen Lookout, I know, is another popular one. It's a really nice one, and they've done a lot of work on Bowen uh, Lookout lately. It's, uh, it, it's been upgraded, and the trails to it have been upgraded. It's just off the House on Crest Trail on the way to St. Mark's Summit. And anybody that doesn't want to go all the way to St. Mark's Summit, which is about a six-hour uh, return hike, can just do uh, the Bowen Lookout Loop in about an hour and a half or so. And it's got a great view over to Bowen Island, Gambier Island, and the Sunshine Coast off in the background. So it's a nice little short hike. And when you have a backdrop like that, I can see why people would spend hours on end, uh, you know, enjoying uh, the, the just scenery on the whole. What yeah. are some of the essentials for every hike that you like to take, one for safety and two just to make the trip comfortable? Uh, safety, uh, I always take a cell with me, even though on some hikes you're not going to be in cell reception, but uh, take a cell, take some water. Um, I guess it's advisable to uh, travel with a buddy yeah. in, in case something happens. And if you uh, travel on your own, which I do sometimes, always let somebody know where you are, where you're going, and when you should be back. All right. And final one, Hollyburn Lakes, closing us out. Uh, Hollyburn Lakes, uh, the, uh, that cabin is only about 10 minutes from the Hollyburn Cross Country parking lot. And uh, it, it was obviously designed for snow weather because the, uh, the entrance to it's about six feet off the ground. And uh, it's from back in the 1930s and 1940s when uh, the Hollyburn cabin country was a buzzing. And it's only another couple of minutes walk from there to Hollyburn Lodge and First Lake, which is a great little picnic destination too. So okay. easy to get to and it's uh, and it's a pretty little area. A little bit of something for everybody in this book. So yeah. Off the Beaten Path is the name of the book. Uh, you've got an autograph signing coming up this Saturday, Indigo North Van. Yes. Uh, there you see details on screen. And hey, we're going to give away a copy of the book. Uh, contest at btvancouver.ca, subject line hike. This is a good guide going into double digit temperature. Uh, Russ has more details on that coming up. Norm. Super. Thanks so much. This okay, man thanks does very much for having me, Russ. This man does all the homework for us, makes it easy. Uh, one final check in with Don, over to you.